This video is focused on how to determine which COM port you're using to connect to an external device. Recently, I was configuring a brocade sand switch and I was gonna have to connect to it through a serial port. I couldn't remember how to determine which COM port I was connected through. So, since it turned out to be such an easy thing, I decided to put together this video just in case somebody else ran into the same kind of issue. So here's how to see which COM port your device is connected to. I'm gonna to go to the start menu and I'm gonna use the search feature to bring up device manager. Once you bring device manager up, you have all you need. Right here where it says ports, common LTP, it will show you which COM ports are in use. If you connect a device to an additional COM port, that COM port will show up here. Unfortunately, I don't have a, an external device to connect to this computer, but I'm gonna show a quick video where I connect a device to a COM port and the COM port shows up here in this section. Let's check that out now. So this is a recording of a computer screen and I am getting ready to open Device Manager. After opening Device Manager, I scroll down because right below the Network Adapters section is the Ports, COM, and LPT section. Uh, you can see my cursor beside that section right there. COM3 is currently in use. I'm going to connect this device to the serial port. It's a USB to DB9 adapter. After connecting that device, Windows automatically detects that this additional device is connected. And as you can see, the additional COM port that's now in use shows up. It's COM4. If you want to connect to a COM port, you can use software like PuTTY software, for example. And PuTTY is freely downloadable from PuTTY.org. I have PuTTY already installed on this computer. I'm going to bring up the PuTTY application here. And you can connect to a serial device through PuTTY by clicking on the serial option there. It'll show you or ask for your COM device in that serial line box. I type in four to connect to COM4. You can also configure your serial device additionally by clicking on that serial section. Uh, typically serial devices, or the ones I use at least, have serial settings of 9600 baud, uh, data bits eight, stop bits one, parity none, and usually flow control none as well. After setting your configuration for your serial device uh, through PuTTY, you can go back to that original window by clicking on Session. And then if you click on Open and you're connected, it will connect you to your serial device. And that's how to detect which COM port your serial device is connected to and how to connect to that device through software like PuTTY.